We are at SHI Stadium in Piscataway, New Jersey, where Saturday afternoon, Virginia Tech will take on the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. And we welcome you to Rutgers alongside Mike Burnup. I'm Bill Roth. Partner, it has been 20 years since we've been here to see the Hokies play. We've had a lot of great memories on this field. The Hokies have had great success here, Bill. Won a lot of football games. I think about the Michael Victor, the Andre Davis. I think about the Myron Newsom in the rain game and all that kind of good stuff. But the one that stands out to me is that Halloween nightmare back in what, 1992, 50 to 49. Hokies had the big lead, lost it there. Hail Mary pass, next play they score, a walk-off win for Rutgers. I'll never forget having to interview Coach Beamer and the look on his face. But the Hokies have won five straight on this field, 12 in a row against Rutgers overall. They come into this game with a mark of one and one, but they're banged up on offense. Grant Wells still listed as questionable at quarterback for Virginia Tech. But as the coaches talked about, Mike, this week, Kyron Jones has run with the number one offense all week in preparation for this game. Well, you never, ha you never have to hope for an injury, right? I mean, Grant Wells has started 36 games in a row. He's got great experience. But if you're going to have an injury, have it where at least you got the whole week to prep with your second guy. And that's what Kyron has been able to do. Got all those reps this whole week with the first team unit. And they split time during the preseason. So he's got a full handle of this offense with Tyler Bowen. He's with him every day. They'll have a good plan this after, you know, for the game. Now, Drones has not started. In fact, he's only played in two series all year. What is realistic for Hokie fans to expect on this field out of Drones? Well, you got to be patient. I mean, you think about it. We talked about Grant, 36 straight starts. He hadn't started one game. He's thrown 30, 31 passes in his career. He's only played in nine games, Bill. So you got to be a little bit patient with him. But he's a kid that can stretch the defense. You ask Brent Pry, you ask Bud Foster, Greg Schiano, a running quarterback presents different problems. He can do that. And uh, he certainly got a big arm. He's got a full command of the offense. They'll have a great plan. And uh, I know he's excited. And the team is going to rally behind him uh, to try to get going here and try to uh, you know, fix what happened last week. Hoagies are coming off the loss to Purdue. Meanwhile, Rutgers comes into this game on Saturday 2-0. A conference win on this field over Northwestern. An on-league win here against Temple. Greg Schiano's team, as usual, is playing great defense. Oh, my gosh, aren't they? I mean, having given up a point in the first half, only 14 points overall. Their rush defense is third in the country, Bill. Only giving up, what, 40 yards a game. The Hokies haven't cracked two yards a carry. So it's going to be a will there to see who can get that thing going. And I think, again, Drones can help in that regard because he's a guy that can help stretch that defense. Virginia Tech and Rutgers here at SHI Stadium. Our radio coverage begins Saturday at 1.30 Eastern time on your hometown Tech Network radio affiliate on the Hokie Sports app. And if you're coming to the game here in New Jersey, you can follow us at 102.3 on the FM dial. Weather looks great. We should have a great crowd here as Virginia Tech returns to the Garden State, the state of New Jersey. Hokies and Rutgers here at SHI Stadium tomorrow. Looking forward to seeing you.